How are you folks? Today we're going to talk about a new issue that I've uh, been looking at recently and that is the issue of uh, dampening string vibrations, unwanted string vibrations. Now the reason this became an issue for me is simply because on our last gig where I used um, the MIDI Guitar 2 software to uh, to trigger uh, to trigger serum with my cello, uh, I got a, well a reasonable amount of uh, false triggering, and that kind of made some errors occur in my set that could have been avoided had I have known. Um, so here we are trying to fix it for next time. So we have a few different things to try out today. Um, we have what is the kind of old school scrunchie. Um, we have this. This is a um, very expensive little toy. This was, I think, thirteen pounds or something, which, considering what it is, is really not that not that cheap at all. Uh, this is called a fret wrap, designed to wrap around and mute the frets. Uh, we also have two things which I made. This one here is uh, an elastic band. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so I sewed a piece of uh, sponge onto that and then I've got some velcro on either ends so you wrap it around and because it's got some spring to it it's it's adjustable and the last one is double-sided velcro I've got two bits that kind of uh, that have sticky stuff on either side put them together and here we go double-sided velcro this is one centimeter thick and just for fun, I decided to try and make it thicker, and I've got this really, really soft, uh, fluffy stuff, uh, and some st stick it onto some more Velcro. So uh, let's try them out and see what the uh, what the different results are. Uh, I haven't massively tried it out yet, so here we go. Let's start off with the by far most expensive option of them all, the fret wrap. Okay, so first thing I notice as I I'm gonna put this a bit lower so I can. Okay, so the first thing I notice here is it's huge. Look how look how thick it is on the uh, on the string, and as you can see, it takes up. See that's sort of half position up to, uh, on that dot, and it I can just about sort of get to to put my finger on it. So let's try some. Uh, some string, open strings and see what it does. Yeah, hold on. Before I do that, I'll, I'll take it off so you can hear what they're supposed to sound like. Okay. And here we go. Not much is happening yet. There's a little bit of muting. Tighten it up. That's obviously a lot better. Um, this is not very springy. Uh, so you can pull at it and you get a little bit, but once it's sort of curved, like this part here isn't really springy. This part isn't. This part has a little bit of spring, but as I say, once it's kind of in shape and the top part's bent, there's there's not much give. So once you've kind of put it on, it's sort of, it's, well, you can kind of move around a bit depending on how much you tighten it. Okay, so that's the uh, the fret wraps. I think they were, as I said, 12 or 13 pounds, very expensive. Here's my DIY thing, a sponge and elastic band with some Velcro on either side. Let's have a listen to this. That's pretty similar. This also has a spring to it, so you can move it around, and of course you can if you wanted to have it up here for some reason, you could have it much lighter. Well, that's not very useful, really. So that was actually pretty similar. Uh, this was a piece of elastic, which I had. I, I did, this cost me nothing because I had all the stuff around the house already. So uh, it took a while to make. My sewing skills are okay, but they're a bit slow. All right, so here we go. Piece of uh, Velcro, double-sided Velcro. Hmm. 
this actually seems to dampen the most out of them so far. Uh, obviously you can move it wherever you want to if you wanted to kind of mute up here. This, this would be pretty cool if you wanted just a tiny amount of muting. You could, because uh, it's big, uh, you could kind of adjust exactly how much tension you want on it. Um, so that, that works well. Uh, let's try it with some extra padding to see if we get any any better results. Actually, it's worse. So without this, it was actually better. Okay, and let's leave the oldest for last, our scrunchie. Boom, it's on. I have to probably say that this is actually the best. And of course when you're done, if you don't need it for a particular piece, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, I haven't bowed anything, so let's see what bowing stuff sounds like. So the interesting about this one is that the sound, it's not sort of buzzing or anything like that, it's just a bit muted. Let's try our Velcro. See, during a set this would look a bit silly to sort of put on and take off, I think. You have to kind of look what you're doing. I don't know if you're getting it, I can hear a little bit of buzzing here. So if you are playing open strings for some reason, uh, there is a little bit of buzzing. This is my other DIY elastic band. This one's got a bit of buzzing as well when I'm bowing. And you have to check and see that it's all kind of lined up as well, which is a bit of a pain. By far the best so far. Uh, let's get our fret wraps thing here. Again, you have to kind of look at it to see that the, the white bit's kind of on evenly. Well, you've heard it with your own ears hopefully reasonably well, uh, as well as you'd come across on a, on a video. So these things, if you're interested, are called fret wraps. <laughs> and this is the kind of first thing that I tried. In my opinion, this is the least, uh, he even got caught in the Velcro just there. It's, can't say that I'm particularly impressed by this one. This is what started my whole uh, my whole search. Somebody suggested it to me. Uh, I think this is going to have to go back because, frankly, it's expensive. It doesn't do the job any better than than you know this piece of Velcro, which cost me 99p, or this, which uh, you know I made. I mean, this is this is really easy. You just get them, stick them together, back to back, pop it on, boom, done. This, however, is it's got one single drawback that I can uh, that I can tell at the moment, and that is that there is no way of uh, sort of changing the tension. So you put it on the strings, and that's it. That's what you have. Um, but it's the easiest to use. You know, that's off, that's on. On a guitar, it'd be exactly the same thing. Um, so that's that's all I can say. And that was 99p as well. I don't know if you can get it for even cheaper or not, but you know, we're talking about 99p versus 12.99. 
Uh, I hope you found this useful. I certainly uh, did experimenting all these things and hopefully you can come to some kind of useful conclusion for yourselves. Uh, and I'll see you again next time in our next video. Have a nice one.